Erica with the K here. Today's video is going to be on how to turn virtually any shoe into a Harry Potter shoe. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because, well, number one, I love Harry Potter. And number two, if you're somebody who likes DIYs or doing creative things, this could be an awesome creative gift to give somebody who loves Harry Potter. So what you're gonna need for this video is just the Maj Paj, which I'll show you in this video, a pair of shoes, preferably ones that aren't already used or dirty. Sorry, but mine in this video were used dirty shoes that I was going to toss if I didn't turn them into Harry Potter shoes, and a brush or something to just apply the Maj Paj. You can also opt to spray a sealant at the end. I will have everything linked in my Amazon affiliate link. If you shop through there, it'll be helping out my channel, so I do appreciate if you decide to click the link and chapter there. But if you don't want to support my channel, you could also just, you know, Google search a Mosh Paj sealer. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Start off with shoes. These are Nine West. They're super old and I just, I don't know, I don't really, they're just kind of gross and old. Still mind what I look like, by the way, over here. I already printed out a bunch of Harry Potter quotes that I love. I printed out two copies, one for the left foot, one for the right foot. So what I'm going to do is just start off by cutting out all my quotes. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think the whole idea of this is for it not to look so perfect. So these were quotes that I couldn't find the actual book versions of. So I just kind of typed them up and printed them out. All right, so now we start. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is just kind of put these on and see kind of where you want them to go. I'm kind of liking this one over here, so I'm just going to start. I have my mod Paj glue. This is like a luster one. Um, there are waterproof ones, which I do not have. And then what I'm going to do over here is just kind of trim up this top a little bit. And then trim up this top a little bit over here just because I like the way the, the band on this looks. I want to kind of keep that showing and then just add more glue as needed underneath. And trim up the spots that need trimming. The cool thing is you can kind of be as messy as you want because the glue goes on the top and the bottom. So that's how that first piece is looking. Where we're at with these shoes. One thing that I want to say is that they're not the same because they're one's a left foot and one's a right foot. So I realized that pretty quickly into this that I couldn't do the same thing on both shoes. So I just made them completely different to make it seem as if it was done on purpose rather than accidentally. So as I was doing it, I realized it's starting to look like the newspaper articles in Harry Potter. So I wanted to kind of um, copy that. So that's why I started to do them upside down and stuff. And I just thought it looked more cohesive that way rather than like trying to have everything look the same th the same way. I did not use this brush. It was not necessary. This brush was good and um, probably want to use a small brush just so you can get into smaller spots because these are shoes. Make sure that you do coat the shoe first and then put the pieces on it so that they stick to that. Otherwise, it's not going to be sticking to it. And then you can go on ahead and saturate the top. Make sure that all the corners are down. You don't want anything sticking up because then that's just gonna have more likely chance of it popping up at a later date. One more thing I wanna say is that I did go in and just kinda like cut little pieces. If there was like a big opening that uh, had a gap, I would just cut little pieces and put it in there. Something like this I just kinda like left alone because I thought it looked fine. I didn't think that it looked that, ba that bad, but like bigger pieces, there's a big piece right there. I did kind of um, go ahead and go through these and just put in like random things just so that it didn't look empty or so that it looks less like a DIY. So I'm super happy. I can't wait until they dry so I can actually wear them and show you guys. I will definitely have that in video. But 